Hey, I'm Nick. Hey, I'm Erin. And we're at Faneuil Hall. Ooh, and we're going to ask some people about climate change. Let's go. I don't really know. It's like a, a scary term that you don't really know what it means. Yeah. Is it bad that the first thing I think of is Al Gore, or is that? <laughs> the bees are dying um, because of climate change, and they're an indicator species. So um, basically, bad things happen to them. Eventually, if something will come around and hit us. Um, it's something that people talk about all the time, but I feel like I don't really actually know yeah. the details. I guess. Go <laughs> Erosion of the ozone layer and different gases getting through that ship. I don't know, that's my best guess. Yeah. No idea how it works, I really don't. It's polar ice gas, that's all I know. <laughs> the sun comes in and it gets trapped on particles in the atmosphere that the heat. And lately it's main molecules of carbon dioxide and water vapor. And lately we've had higher levels of CO2 and water vapor, which is causing the heat from the sun to stay in the whole system how it works so the sun's rays come down gets yeah. trapped in the stratosphere sure. atmosphere <laughs> one of those yeah. spheres uh, there's a huge emphasis on recycling stuff there's a lot of um, public transportation at least in the where i'm from lots of like the hubway stuff like that's really great stuff things like that well i know a lot of the schools here are going greener which obviously has a huge impact just because there's so many universities here um and they have those like trash barrels <laughs> well i know there's a lot of like recycling places around the city and i know Obviously, our abuse students abuse did a great job at like being environmentally friendly and making like green buildings. I know that's a big thing. Is a lot of buildings have to be like meet up to environmental standards. Nothing compared to Oregon. We are oh, like really? as green as they come in Oregon. So how so? I, I mean, Oregon is just it's pretty. It's a cool state. Um, our airport at SeaTac in Seattle. It just uh, what they're doing now is they have the airplanes shut off their engines while they're waiting to load back on, and they pump the air into the, the airplanes, and it saves enough. I guess it's a difference of seven, taking 7,600 cars off. Sounds like a hard candy. 